How's it going everyone? And today I got yet another Planet Side 2 weapons review for you. Today I'm very very excited because we'll be going over my absolute favorite, my number one favorite sniper rifle in the game. Uh, as you can see here, we are fighting at Bridge Ward on Ezemir. We're trying to push into the Vanu base and most of the gameplay shown here will be from this battle. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? This sniper rifle is so good that it has three different names for it. Um, over in the Vanu corner, it is called the Ghost, the NC, or the New Conglomerate, they call it the Sasser, and the Terran Republic, they call it the TSAR-42. What this means, guys, is that all three factions get to use this exact same sniper rifle. It may look a little different between the factions, or rather a lot different between the factions, uh, it may even sound a little different between the factions, but these stats are all the same between the factions. And that was my cap. So the stats of this weapon are pretty amazing. The fire rate is 55 rounds per minute, the muzzle velocity is at 500 meters per second, the damage, the maximum damage is 700 before 10 meters, but it drops off to 400 after 265 meters. What this means is after 265 meters, you're more than likely not going to be able to one-shot headshot someone. Now, 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 and I know what you're thinking. I, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, if I want to be a sniper, I want to, you know, sit 400 meters away in the hills and be super tactical and and awesome and stealth no 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 okay so 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 let's just get this out of the way first um units and planet side 2 like infantry units and planet side 2 i don't know if they have changed this and i don't know the exact numbers however i do know that after around 300 to 350 uh correct me if i'm wrong guys the infantry units won't even render in your screen Right, so if, if you're sitting at 400 meters away, you're definitely not going to be able to see any infantry units. You'll probably see a lot of vehicles and maybe a max suit here and there, but you're definitely not going to see other infantry. With all that said, the type of gameplay, or at least gameplay style you want to use with this particular sniper rifle is going to be a little bit closer to your enemies and a little bit more aggressive than say what you would use with the um, the uh, parallax or the rams 50 or the long shot you know all those sniper rifles are made for that super long distance uh, you know barely on render range type sniping coolest thing about the sasser is that you can actually attach a four time scope on this bad boy um, you know, may sound like a little counterintuitive, you know, you may wonder, oh, why, why use a 4 times scope? Uh, well, first of all, it's the highest scope you can use on the, uh, on the sniper rifle. The trick with this is that there is actually no scope sway on the 4 times scope. With a traditional 6 times or 12 times scope, there is, a, you know, quite a bit of scope sway, and you would actually have to use the hold breath mechanic. You know, for me, it's the hotkey uh, shift. I would have to hold down shift so my scope steadies and then I can take a shot. This benefit coupled with the fact that it shoots at 55 rounds per minute, which guys by the way is pretty freaking fast for a uh, sniper rifle. Uh, th these two benefits mean that you can farm people ridiculously easy with this gun. So a little bit of a word of caution for the sniper rifle, uh, not that you wouldn't do any of these tips I'm about to mention for any other sniper rifle, but because you're so close to the enemy, um, you know, you have to especially remember to do these things. Uh, first thing is to always make sure you're watching your back. Um, you know, put down that motion spotter. Make sure you're keeping an eye on the uh, the mini map at all times. Make sure no one can sneak up on you. Uh, the other thing is, you know, to make sure you're always moving after every shot. Uh, some of the more long range sniper rifles, you can kind of get away with it by not moving as much. But the Sasser is definitely more of a mobile on the go type rifle. Now, the 4 times scope does take a little bit uh, of getting used to, especially if you come from using the higher magnifications, um, but it really doesn't take that long at all. The bullet velocity uh, may be a bit slower than what the other sniper, rifle, uh, sniper rifles have, but definitely not no at all, given the fact that you're so close to your enemies anyway, so the bullet doesn't drop that much. 
So I, as you guys can see, I really love this weapon. Um, and I guess the reason why I love the Sasser uh, depends on my playstyle. And I guess everyone's playstyle is a little different, especially when it comes to sniping. Uh, for a long, long time, I was using the those longer range sniper rifles like the Rams 50 on the TR. I used the Railjack and the Longshot on the NC. Um, but I have since really grown to love this style of sniping. The reason why is because you really don't have to compensate for that much. Uh, if you think about it, you don't have to compensate too much for bullet drop because you know you're so close to the enemy. Uh, bullets doesn't really drop that far. Um, you don't have to compensate for the scope sway uh, by holding shift because there is no scope sway. Uh, you can shoot really quickly, so you don't even have to land you know a headshot all the time. If you mess up and land a body shot, well, just follow up with another body shot and you got it. Um, and oh, I just got taken out there. Um, and the other, I guess the last reason why I like this gun is because it's a lot easier to hit moving targets. Um, the combination of the fast uh, reload speed and the fast rechamber time and the no scope sway and the fact that you're engaging within medium to long range uh, makes it really easy to line up those shots on moving targets, even the ones that are running perpendicular to you. As far as attachments, guys, um, I just use the 4x scope and a straight pull bolt. I think it's called the super cooled coil. And man, I just feel like Legolas here, just like running around headshotting people. Um, yeah, I just I just use those two attachments. I don't bother the suppressor at all. Um, I think you know you don't really need that much to make this gun work really well. And uh, oh, a quick tip: uh, if you're falling down a cliff like this, face towards the cliff so you kind of break your fall a little bit and you don't take fall damage. Uh, it's, you know, helpful tip for you guys. So that about wraps up my review for the Sasser slash Tsar slash Ghost slash Tsar, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, uh, they oh, and they used to actually give out this weapon for free when you would make a new character on Planet Side. Um, it would prompt you to you know, it would ask you some questions, and if you fill out the one for Infiltrator, it would actually give you this weapon for free. Uh, very sad that they don't do this anymore because the weapon is so freaking awesome. But it is quite cheap. It's only 250 uh, certs or 500 station cash or uh, daybreak cash, I guess is what they're calling it these days. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Uh, have you used this weapon before? Or maybe uh, you're holding off on using this weapon? Uh, either way, I hope I did a great job uh, explaining why I like this weapon so much and why it is my favorite sniper rifle to use. Uh, as always, go ahead and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you like uh, to see more of my content. Uh, I'll go ahead and let the footage roll on for a little bit more here, guys. Um, I'm heading out, but I'll be sure to see you guys next time.